In this question, we're given the implicit equation of a curve, 3x squared minus y squared plus xy equals 4. And we're given that on this curve, there's a couple of points, p and q, and the gradient of the tangent at these points is 8 thirds. And we've got to show that y minus 2x equals 0. So, how am I going to do this? Well, first of all, the gradient of a tangent on a curve is going to be the same as the gradient of the curve, which is given by dy by dx. So I'm going to establish from the curve what dy by dx is, and then I'm going to put whatever that equation is in here, equate it to 8 thirds, and then hopefully by rearranging that equation I should be able to show, I hope, that y minus 2x equals 0. So, first of all then, we need to differentiate this with respect to x. So I'm going to tell the reader that that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to differentiate with respect to x this equation. So differentiating the first term with respect to x, the 3x squared here, it would be 6x. So therefore we would have 6x. Now when I come to the second term, minus y squared, and need to differentiate this with respect to x, I need to use implicit differentiation. Just to recap, in case you might have forgotten that, if you're differentiating any function of y, in this case y squared, with respect to x, then to get around this problem of differentiating y squared with respect to x, we differentiate y squared with respect to y, which will be 2y, but because we've introduced this dy here, it's as if we kind of cancel it out here and put back the dx. So using this principle, what we have here is minus, and we need to differentiate y squared then with respect to x. So it's differentiating y squared with respect to y would be 2y. And then we follow it with dy by dx as you see here. Now for the next term we've got a product of two variable functions x and y so we need to use the product rule. The product rule is you take one part or and then multiply it by the differential of the other variable here. So if I take x first of all I need to multiply it by the differential of y with respect to x. So I get around that problem by differentiating y with respect to y and that's 1 but remember to tag on the end dy by dx. And with the product rule now we've differentiated the y and multiplied it with the x here. Now we do it the other way around. We put the y down and multiply by the differential of x with respect to x. Well that clearly is going to be 1. So that's part. That's the part done for differentiating x, y. Now we need to differentiate the 4 with respect to x. And that's going to be simply 0. Okay, all I need to do now is rearrange this, tidy it up, rearrange it, so making dy dx the subject. So I'm going to take the dy by dx terms to one side. I'm going to take them to the other side. That means I can lead with a positive term on each side of the equals. So I'm left with 6x plus y here. And if I add 2y dy dx to both sides, I get 2y dy dx. And if I subtract x dy dx from both sides, I get minus x dy dx there. Now I need to factorize the right hand side of this equation. It's very common to see people put dy by dx first. You shouldn't really. You should put dy by dx at the rear of a bracket. So that tends to be the place that most people write dy dx. It wouldn't be wrong if you did write it at the front, but it's a bit like writing, say, for instance, 2y as y2. It just doesn't look right. 
Okay, we've got that. So we now need to rearrange this for dy by dx. So we have dy by dx equals 6x plus y all over 2y minus x. So we've established dy by dx and this would be representative of the gradient of the tangent at the points p and q. So I can write this equal to 8 thirds. So we therefore have dy by dx equals 8 thirds. Maybe I should say since, since dy by dx equals 8 thirds. Therefore what I have is this equation 6x plus y all over 2y minus x equals 8 thirds. What I'll do is we'll just carry on down here in this area here. What I can do next is multiply both sides by 3 and by 2y minus x. So that's going to give me 3 multiplied by 6x plus y and that's going to equal 8 times 2y minus x. All I need to do now is expand the brackets and we have 18x plus 3y equals 16y minus 8x and I should be able to spot that this is coming up. I notice we've got a y term here at the front so I think I'm going to subtract 18x and 3y from both sides. So 16y, well we're going to have a zero here anyway. 16y take away 3y is 13y and minus 8x minus 18x is going to be minus 26x. If I divide through by 13 to both sides I get naught equals y minus 2x and I can rearrange that to just simply be y minus 2x equals 0. And that's what we had to show and so that brings us now quite nicely to the end of this question.